Hi, my name is Nick Birmingham and in this video I'm going to show you how to reinforce an arrow knock with a piece of horn. Now the reason why we reinforce an arrow knock with a piece of horn is because when the arrow is shot the string will exert a great deal of pressure on the knock end of the arrow and there's a chance that the arrow shaft could split down the grain. So by inserting a piece of horn down the centre of the shaft in line with the grain this acts like a shock absorber and will stop the shaft from splitting. So my first job is to find the direction that the grain is running and I do that by looking for the little brown lines on the end of the shaft. I then mark the centre of the shaft in line with the grain. Now I want the depth of the horn insert to be two inches long. So I'm going to mark the shaft two inches from the end all the way around. And I'm just going to join up the dots just roughly, doesn't have to be exact. Now I'm going to mark a line down the centre of the shaft, joining up my centre line on the end of the shaft with my two inch depth line. I'm going to do this on both sides. And these are going to act as the guidelines for my cut. I now need to follow those cut lines to make the slot that's going to take my piece of horn. But I want that slot to be exactly the same thickness as this piece of horn, which is about 2mm thick. So to do that, all I've done is I've bought three standard hacksaw blades and I've joined them together with a piece of tape at either end. And by using three blades together I can make a cut that's exactly the same thickness as my piece of horn. There you go, that's a pretty good fit. So the next job is to trim the horn to fit and then it's ready for gluing. So the next step is to glue the horn in place and to do that I'm just going to use a general purpose impact adhesive.
So now we're going to coat both sides of the horn with glue. And then insert into the shaft. And then just wipe off any excess. And then clamp in place, ready for drying. I'll now leave that to dry for about 24 hours. So once the glue is had time to set, I can now remove the clamps and then dress the end of the shaft off until it's nice and smooth. <laughs> And there you have it, the finished shaft with a horn insert dressed off nice and smooth. Now normally the final step would be to cut the knot for the string and that would be cut at 90 degrees across the horn insert. But I want to taper this shaft first and I'm going to taper it from 3 8 of an inch at the knock to half an inch at the head. And if you want to see how I do that, then watch my next video.